I like to make what I eat in a day videos because I like to show that being vegan is totally normal. I feel like people think that, you know, vegan food is gonna be weird or expensive or time consuming or really artificial and it doesn't have to be any of those things. So I'm gonna show you what a typical vegan eats in a day, share some easy recipes and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you to Thrive Market for teaming up with me and let's get started with breakfast. First thing I do, turn on my coffee machine, pour myself a glass of water. A lot of times I'll put away dishes from the night before while I kind of let my probiotics sink in. You want to take that on an empty stomach. So I just kind of tinker around the kitchen. On this day, I unpacked my groceries from Thrive and then got started on breakfast. I made a quick five minute breakfast with some quick cooking oats, some banana and fresh raspberries for fiber and vitamin C. I added this granola, which is so good. It has freeze dried strawberries in it. So I love that. And then I added some sunflower seed butter on top. I can't get over this texture. It is so thick and creamy and it's fun to kind of change up your nut and seed butters from time to time, not only for flavor variation, but also for nutrient variation. And this adds some healthy fats and it makes everything taste like trail mix. So it's so good plan for today is I've got a couple of hours of computer work to do just like editing and emails and stuff so I'm gonna do that at the first part of the day I've got laundry and just like little life admin things that I'm gonna do and then later this afternoon I'm gonna be recipe testing my pumpkin soup recipe and I like to try to match that up with meal times if I can because I like to test my recipes a couple of times to make sure that they taste as good as possible and that they're replicable and I can you know have enough experience making the recipe a couple times to where I can answer questions as they come up so since I'm making the recipe a couple times and I don't want that food to go to waste I try to just kind of stagger recipe testing throughout the week and do it at meal times when I'm home and that will just be my lunch for today and if it's good I'll definitely write it out and put it in the description box below for you guys so you can make it at home too and then after that I'm going to get my hair cut and my hair is really driving me crazy right now it's gonna look exactly the same I'm not gonna do anything drastic but my hair as you can see just gets like very long and flat it's like very fine there's a lot of it but it's fine and it's straight and so you can see it's getting really long too but as it starts to grow out and all these layers grow out it just gets very heavy and like curtain like and i just feel like i can't do anything with it and then after that i'm going to meet up with my friends we're going to go see don't worry darling at the movies tonight we're going to go to the grove and we'll probably have dinner over there too and i'm really excited to see this movie because i've seen a lot of previews and i kind of don't know what to expect but it looks good so we're going to do that and it should be a really fun day i'm going to do my laundry get started on work and i will see you guys at lunchtime the first thing I did was I consulted my recipe notebook. So I tend to like map out recipes before I actually try them because I kind of know sort of what I want to do. And then when I'm actually in the kitchen, I go back in and I write more notes and I, you know, sort of erase and cross things out and make edits that way. And then I transfer it to the computer and write an actual blog post once it's, once it's perfect, once I really am happy with it. So that is what I did on this day. I start with some onions, garlic, and fresh ginger. I added coriander, a little tamari, and maybe maple syrup for balance and depth and then I added some canned pumpkin, canned coconut milk and some veggie broth and blended this all up. As you can see it turns into this super thick and creamy like velvety soup that is so good and it's pretty quick and easy too and perfect for meal prep because it's honestly even better the next day. I love to top this with a little dollop of coconut yogurt and you kind of just get a little bit more than you need on your spoon and then just sort of zigzag it all over the place in swirly motions and you get pretty designs like this. I topped it with pumpkin seeds one because Queen Ina Garten suggests always garnishing with what's in the dish so I like that pumpkin seeds kind of indicate that it's a pumpkin soup but it also also adds texture and added nutrients like iron and fiber. That soup is so good, you guys. I'm definitely gonna put it in the description box so you have to try it because it is like folly. Is my necklace all twisted? It's been twisted all day and it's driving me crazy. It's folly and very cozy and you get that like rich, creamy pumpkin that has just a touch of sweetness, but it's also intensely savory. Like the ginger and that like black pepper that I put on top too, it just gives it this really nice kind of earthiness. There's onions and garlic and herbs and it just all works together to become this very savory pumpkin recipe. And I love pumpkin and I love pumpkin spice, but I really love how savory pumpkins and squash and all of those kinds of seasonal vegetables can be. It's just a very like balanced, nourishing, wholesome kind of meal and I absolutely love stuff like that. So I'm so excited to share that with you. That's gonna be in the description box below. And I wanted to say thank you to Thrive Market for teaming up with me for this video because as you saw, a lot of the ingredients that I used to make that soup and also my breakfast and also all of the meals that I make because I shop on Thrive Market all the time. And you saw how convenient it was for me this morning just to sort of unpack my order while my coffee 
coffee was brewing and my oats were simmering away on the stove. I was literally getting my groceries while still wearing a bathrobe. It's so convenient. And I find so many of my staples, especially fall staples, they have tons of great fall staples from spices and all kinds of flavor add-ins. Like I love getting my vegan wish this year. Worcestershire sauce there. Sometimes I nail it and sometimes I still struggle with that word. But I get that there. I get, you know, tamari. I get soy sauce. I get, you know, my olive oil and all of those just like essentials that you need. I also get a lot of my baking essentials on Thrive. They also make one of my favorite coconut milks and I always get a bunch at once and just kind of stock up because I use coconut milk for soups like this, but also for like my curries and I believe my Thai. I have another soup recipe if you guys are looking for soup recipes. I have have another soup recipe that's I think I call it my sweet potato my Thai sweet potato bisque and I'm pretty sure that one has coconut milk in it too and so I use it for all kinds of stuff it just adds so much body and richness and I love stocking up on that so if you guys have been wanting to try Thrive Market they have a new offer right now where if you sign up to become a member you can sign up to become a member for a month or for a year so make sure you click that link in the description box below check it out let me know what you think and let me know if you try this soup recipe as well I really think you guys are gonna like it and I'm excited for you to try it So they're even cuter than I thought they were gonna be. So it's my friend Laura's birthday and she loves like, there's a part of her personality that loves like rainbow things and things that are kind of like very colorful and vibrant and just dramatic and like whimsical. And so I saw these wine glasses. Well, they're like coupe glasses, cocktail glasses, multifunctional glasses and they're in all of these different colors. So she has a lot of like sneakers and sweatshirts and stuff that have just like lots of color. And so I found these rainbow glasses that are so, so cute. Now that I'm seeing them, I think I really want to get a set for myself. They're even nicer in real life. So cute. They need to be cleaned obviously, and I'm gonna wrap this back up, but I just wanted to make sure that all the glasses are in good condition. I also just wanted to see them for myself. <sighs> I love him so much. How cute is this card? It's kind of like this watercolor design and I just think it's so beautiful. And Laura actually got married in Capri in Italy. I was her maid of honor. And so this kind of reminds me of the table because they did a lot of lemons and just like greenery and it was white and yellow and blue. And so this just instantly made me think of her. And I love that it's a whole pack of blank cards. It comes with envelopes too. So now I have like a little pack of 10, but they are seriously so pretty. I kind of want to stock up on these. much better so much lighter it honestly looks pretty much exactly the same like i said it's just i do a pretty blunt chop in the back so it's like a straight line and then i have face framing layers and just some layers throughout for movement but they're long layers so my hair uh, just has a bit more like lightness and yeah, I messed it up there. So anyway, I came home, I talked to my sister on the phone for a while, put my laundry away, which feels really good. It's all organized and put away. And now I'm gonna go for a little walk because I did spend most of the morning at my desk here. And so I'm just wanting to kind of get some fresh air, stretch my legs, and then I will be heading to the movies for Laura's birthday. For dinner we went to a place called Mercado which is on 3rd Street right across from the Grove and they definitely have a couple of vegan options. It's not fully vegan. We got rice, we got beans, we got guac and I got cauliflower tacos. These are really good. They've got this vegan friendly aioli that is really the thing that ties it all together and makes it so tasty. When I got home I took off my makeup with this vegan friendly cleansing balm. I love that you can just use the balm and you don't have to use like a wipe or cotton rounds or anything so it's good for the environment and I find that it's really gentle on my skin. Hopped in the shower and then I did my skincare and finished with my favorite lip balm which is also vegan friendly i hope you guys enjoyed this what i eat in a day video i hope it gave you some good ideas make sure to check out the description box below for the recipes and for the link to try thrive market and i will see you guys in a video very soon bye